Mission unstoppable, unstoppable, passionate protesters pushing forward through the driving rain, trying to drive their message home tonight following the death of George Floyd. And amid the marches, some clashes with police. We understand there have been dozens more arrests as well. But neither the rain or the citywide curfew could put a stop to tonight's mostly peaceful protests throughout the city. We'll uh, try to take some pictures from Chopper 4 here in a moment to see some of the demonstrations that seem to be dying down here as we get started at 11 o'clock. Uh, we are three hours into the mandatory curfew that lasts through 5 a.m. in New York City. That means all city bikes, Revel scooters, and for hire vehicles are off Manhattan roads, at least they're supposed to be. These are live pictures now from Chopper 4. Uh, we see some of the cars and buses still out there and some NYPD vehicles. Traffic is banned in Manhattan below 96th Street. Let's start off with some breaking news from the Upper West Side tonight. That's where a driver hit a traffic agent who was trying to enforce that vehicle ban. Checky's, Checky Beckford kicking off our team coverage tonight with the arrest of that driver that Checky police are saying tried to actually take off from the scene. That's right, Stefan. This is the tractor portion of that tractor trailer that was involved in that hit and run. As you mentioned, that traffic agent was manning this curfew checkpoint here at 96th and Columbus. Of course, this is where they're screening vehicles to make sure that there are only essential vehicles allowed below 96th Street. At some point, police say that that tractor portion of the truck came through the intersection and struck the traffic agent, at which point the driver, we're told by witnesses, actually got out of the truck and looked at the traffic agent for a bit before taking off and running into Central Park. Police told us tell us that that's where he was apprehended and taken into custody. The traffic agent herself sustained injuries to the head, though we're told that those injuries are minor. She was taken to St. Luke's Hospital again with minor injuries. At this point, it's unclear if this tractor tr uh, tractor portion, again, of this tractor truck uh, is a part of an essential vehicle or belongs to an essential company. Uh, and exactly Exactly how he managed to hit the traffic agent here. But again, that traffic agent struck by a truck here at 96th and Columbus at a curfew checkpoint tonight and is expected to be okay again, suffering only minor injuries. We're live tonight on the Upper West Side. Checky Beckford, News 4 New York. Okay, glad they're going to be okay. Checky, thank you for the update. We're going to turn to Brooklyn now, where in just the last two hours, protests outside of Brooklyn Borough Hall devolved into some chaos there. Several protesters placed under arrest. News 4's Adam Harding. Continue our team coverage tonight with some of the fallout from that clash with police that one elected official Adam is calling completely avoidable. And certainly says that police went too far in this case. We're here in Brooklyn, right between the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge. And I want to show you what we're seeing right now as police have a number of these streets blocked off. Remember that curfew just went into effect a couple of hours ago, and there was some confusion, certainly, with mass police right by the Brooklyn Bridge where they had shut it down for a few moments, but it is now open only to essential traffic. So you can see right now as there is some confusion and a lot of traffic building with people still out. But let me get you straight to some video from a short time. Ago. This is from Juwani Williams, who is a public advocate here in New York City. He says that protesters were being very peaceful and then they were told to go home. And you can hear that in the video. Now you see police pushing them back, some using their batons to get them out of the way. We caught up with Juwani Williams, who says what you're seeing here is just a step too far. All the riot police start pushing, shoving, batoning. But we're in the way. I'm like, what is happening? Why are we doing this? People start talking about the mayor's curfew. Last night, I saw things I never saw before. Literally, people holding signs, backing up, getting railed on. The police were screaming, mayor's curfew. When you say and tonight, he is decrying that new curfew that went into effect at 8 o'clock tonight as police continue to block off streets. As for those protesters, they were in the area, we understand, a couple of hours ago, but have since left the area. What may have been part of that, them leaving, was because a couple of hours ago, we had intense downpours. There was a lot of lightning in the area, and it would appear that some of the groups dispersed. At this hour, social media reports do show that there are some protesters continuing on the streets right now. Everything is remaining peaceful. Peaceful here in Brooklyn. Certainly, we have been here night after night since these protests first started. Tonight appears to be, at least preliminarily, a lot calmer. But live tonight in Brooklyn, I'm Adam Harding, News 4 New York. All right, Adam, a lot calmer where you are. We thank you. And just moments ago, police did tell us that they've made dozens of arrests tonight so far, with the total number right now expected to exceed 100. I want to go out to News 4's Ray Vietta, continuing our live team coverage from Midtown. Ray, I understand you watch police take some protesters into custody tonight. 
Natalie, a lot of arrests went down right here in Midtown East. We're right here on the corner of 3rd Avenue and 51st, and you can see a long line of police vehicles, and that's because the arrests went down here. You could see different squads. The bicycle squad was here. A lot of arrests happened, and I want to show you kind of where. Take a look. The signs are down on the ground. This is where they were handcuffing them, actually putting the, the things on their wrists. Their zip ties. I was looking for the words there, but you could see all their signs there on the ground. I got to tell you, tonight was peaceful. Those protesters came down from the Upper East Side, ended up here in Midtown East, were arrested right at this intersection. The last number we got was just upwards of 94. Let's show you this happened within the last 90 minutes here. You could see the arrest happening. Some of it was in the rain, of course, because it was raining, but a large group of people arrested, loaded into vans and buses at times during heavy rain under a store awning. The protests peaceful, but Chief Ter Terrence Monahan says the city, the people who live here, need to abide by the 8 o'clock curfew, and that's why officers took these protesters into custody. No damage. We've been on it. There are still things that we're working on in other parts of the city right now, but as of now, everything has been quiet. And what's going on right here right now? Right now, we've taken 60 arrests for, not, uh, for violating the curfew. The rest of the group that was here was a group that probably numbered close to 2,000. They have dispersed. We started our evening on the Upper East Side, outside Gracie Mansion, a peaceful vigil of thousands. They took a knee, sat down. This was a vigil for George Floyd. This was a vigil in honor of victims who have died, victims of police brutality. It was peaceful. And I spoke to two brothers from Queens who described their feelings during this period of unrest in New York and around the country. I didn't do anything to you, and yet you hate me. And I don't know what you want from me. I'm just trying to live my life. I just want to be left alone, just like you, to be with my family and my friends and live my life. I am very surprised that the number of white people that are here is, like, tremendous. If the silence stop being silent, this can actually have an effect. These protests and riots may actually mean something. I asked Chief Monahan what his message was to the protesters, to the people of this city. He told me protesters can continue doing so, but abide by the curfew. That 8 o'clock citywide curfew is still in effect and will be for the rest of this week. As far as any reports of looting, he says at this point, there are none. So a much quieter night, as we've been reporting. Definitely a quiet night here in New York. We're live in Midtown East tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4, New York. Yeah, the voices of those protesters ringing loud and clear tonight. Thank you so much, Ray.